guys, welcome back. So I just filmed my November favorites and I had a little bit of time and so I thought I would just film a little Ulta haul. And I only have a few items to share with you but I'm pretty excited about most of them. <laughs> and it might be a little bit shorter but I hope you guys still enjoy it. And I think I will throw in a couple other random beauty items at the end of the video since it's not going to be very long like I have some false lashes that I ordered online that I'll share with you and maybe some new lipsticks that are really affordable. Let me first start with what I'm most excited about this little guy here or this little girl she's probably a girl I don't know the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm so excited so I have a little story to tell you about this and if you follow me on snapchat you'll have seen and I'll, I'll try to find a picture and put it put it up here the first one that I ordered online because they didn't have it in store I actually went in store to find it and they didn't have it yet so I ordered it online and it arrived totally shattered <laughs> like it was so sad I was like no because I haven't been that excited or this excited about an eyeshadow palette in so so very long I just wanted to use it so bad like I just had the urge and the craving to use this and it was broken it was so shattered so they actually let me keep that one and then they sent me another, a new one that just arrived today, like while I was filming my November favorites a little bit ago. So I haven't used it yet, but I've heard really great things about it and I love the original one, the all matte one. This one has mattes, it looks like three like shimmery shades. The one that I first got that was pretty much shattered, like half the shades were okay, but half the shades were shattered. So my husband actually was like a little, what is it? An archeologist? Is that an archeologist? Like that gets a little duster and like finds dinosaur bones or whatever. And he like really was spending some nice quality time like trying to revive my palette. Cause I did end up giving that one to a friend because you know, half the shades were still usable. Some of them were totally gone, but it was so cute. He was like taking a makeup brush and like dusting it. And then he helped me like press them. It was, it was just so cute. The next thing that I have is the Becca Afterglow palette and I might return this. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts. Okay, so here's the situation, right? I got this, it's $39. I'm pretty sure this is the one Jaclyn Hill used. Like, look at that packaging, isn't that beautiful? Pretty sure she used this in her, was it this one? In her recent like everyday glam makeup and obviously everything that she talks about, I have to go out and buy and you guys understand, I know you do. But, so she used it and I bought it and I actually swatched it in store and then I ordered it online and it's so pretty, it's such a beautiful like, this is my kind of like everyday, everyday eyeshadow palette, like natural, neutral makeup, daytime appropriate, but I didn't realize that basically it's two blushes, like these two are blushes, Wild Honey and Flower Child, which I already have. And then you get three of the shimmering skin perfectors, which is Moonstone, Rose Gold, and Topaz. I have Moonstone, but I don't have those middle two. So I'm trying to think of it's, if $40 is worth keeping it because I already have three full sizes of the colors. But at the same time, and this is why I want you guys to let me know your opinion. Would you keep it? What should I do? <laughs> like, please help. <laughs> um, you, because it's all like right there, you know, right there. At my fingertips I don't have to pull out different products or something like that and I would I feel like I would get a lot of use out of this so let me know what should I do I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna hang on to that or return it just because I didn't realize that it was repeats of what I already had I thought it was actually like Becca eyeshadows so the next I have the Lori oh my gosh I always say Lori Geller it's Laura Geller the baked balance and brighten foundation and I have mine in the shade porcelain and it looks like that and it's basically like a marbleized like mosaic is that how you would describe it so it has like a pink a lighter porcelain color and then a like a almost like a beige and you blend it all together and you know it just is one color and this is such a nice powder foundation it's just so beautiful on the skin I actually have been wearing this with my NARS sheer glow I'll put this on over the sheer glow I'll use it to touch up throughout the day and it's just really really beautiful and you can it's like decent coverage but at the same time it looks like skin I think it's I don't know I want to say I like it better than my my jacked it cosmetic celebration foundation which I love this but I feel like this one if you plot if you apply too much of it it can get kind of cakey looking and I don't find that this one lasts very long whatever whatever whatsoever I feel like it breaks down 
so fast like after four hours which i nobody got time for that so when i use like off topic but since i'm comparing these when i use my it cosmetics celebration foundation i'll actually like mix it with my mac what is this called studio fix powder which can look really cakey really fast but to get like more of a longevity out of my celebration it cosmetics one i'll actually mix it with that and i have that in nc15 but anyway back to the laura geller one i've been wanting those for so long and i'm just I finally just bit the bullet because I actually tried it on in store when I was there a couple weeks ago and it just was so beautiful like on the skin it just so natural I was really concerned that it wouldn't be um the right undertone because of the pink in there can you see the pink the marble it looks like a what is it a planet it looks like a planet kind of it's so it's so pretty but I thought it would be too pink but it actually you know blends out really nice I'll put some on for you Not that, I mean, I already have a lot of makeup on, but. It's just so, I think it's so pretty. If you're curious, this is a Sedona Lay 602 angled kabuki brush. But yeah, I'm just, like I said, I've been wanting it for a long time and I'm glad that I finally got it. All right, next I got, I ordered two of the OPI nail polishes. The first one is pretty much a classic color, but I surprisingly don't have it in my collection. It's Lincoln Park After Dark, and my sister was in town for the holidays for Thanksgiving. We went and got pedicures, and we were picking out our colors, and I was on one side of the nail salon picking out my color, and she was on the other side, and we actually both picked the same color for our did I say manicures I meant pet, pedicures I don't know if I said that we both picked out Lincoln Park after dark and I'm like oh my gosh you have good taste it's just a staple color for me I love dark nail polishes I love cutting my nails short in the fall and winter and wearing just like almost black but not black nail polish I like black too but you guys feel me on that one the other one is the one I'm wearing today I saw it swatched at Ulta and then I had to go order it online it's so beautiful I don't know if you can see it there. I'll show you the close-up. But this is called Cosmo with a Twist. It is so diff, like so multi-dimensional. Multi it looks blue, like navy blue. It kind of, in some lights, reminds me of Russian Navy, which is one of my all-time favorite OPI nail polishes. Um, but it also has like purple and like lavender and like almost a fuchsia like shift to it. It does have like sparkles, but it's not chunky. It's very refined. And although it has like shimmers in it or sparkles, it's almost still like a cream. It's not chunky or gritty. It's very, very creamy and went on. This is only two coats. I was a little nervous it would be kind of sheer and you would have to build it up, but a really great formula. So those are the Ulta items. That's the Ulta haul. And now I'm just going to show you real quick these lipsticks by JCAT Beauty. They are their brand new matte lipstick diary. And I, what is there, 18? I think there's one, two, there's 18 colors. And I am gonna do a whole lip swatch video coming up soon with these. So I haven't tried them yet because I need to take pictures um, for the video. Like I wanna make sure they're pretty when I take pictures of them for the video and for my blog post. So I will let you guys know, but so far they look amazing there's tons of colors to choose from as you can see and they're $4.99 each so I'll link these below on the JCAT website I don't think these are available yet at Ulta online anyway I actually checked hopefully these will be just as good as the Maybelline creamy mattes or the what is it the Milani moisture matte lipsticks because I love those and these have so much more shades to choose from so yeah I just wanted to shout those out and let you guys know that they're available they did send these to me so I did not purchase these myself and then next I have some just false lashes from Lady Moss and these are the brand Coco Coco lashes which I feel like is really popular on YouTube and Instagram so I ordered some and these are I don't think they're mink they're not they're not like mink lashes or anything so I think they are just like fake synthetic hair but there's they say they're handmade and they're reusable and easy to apply which I'm wearing a pair today. I'm wearing the Misha. Um, these were pretty easy to apply, but I started out, I wanted to wear the Goddess ones, which are the ones that I was most excited about. I could not get them to stay on. The band on the Goddess are is a little bit thicker and I have such a hard time 
with a thicker band. If you have these or any other false eyelash that has a thicker band and you have like tips and tricks about how to get them to apply, let me know. I'm gonna try a different glue. I was using the Duo Dark Adhesive, Dark, dark Tone Adhesive Glue. I was a little impatient with it and I kind of gave up. I could have tried a little harder. And I also think I should clip off a little bit of the inside because maybe that will help. Because I could get the outside to stick, but the inside just wouldn't stick. It was so annoying. But the Goddess Lashes are super popular. I just feel like they're so beautiful. They're so dramatic. And then the other ones that I got, oh, and the price on these, I think they're $6.99 or $7.99 each. And I feel like the quality and the selection of the of the lashes is like a step above like drugstore lashes and it's only a few dollars more than drugstore lashes. And then the next one is Soho, which kind of has, has spaces in between like the clusters of it, but they're very wispy and the band is like very thin. So I think those will be nice and easy to apply. And then I have the Cocos. The Cocos have a little bit of a thicker band, which kind of scares me. So I'll have to see. And then the last ones I have are the Aerials which another thick band that I'm kind of nervous about. So yeah, let me know if you have tips tips or tricks, but I've been just having the urge to wear more false lashes and I'll tell you why, since I'm already so chatty in this video, but I've been wanting to get um, eyelash extensions so bad because I'm just, I hate putting on mascara. It's just, I always get it all over my eye, I have hooded eyes. I feel like to get a good application and get it really close to my roots and make the whole lashes look really black and all that stuff, I just feel like it's just too hard and I, it just takes too much time. I'm very challenged when it comes to mascara. So I've been like watching a bunch of YouTube videos on eyelash extensions, but I'm trying to practice with false lashes before I commit to getting eyelash extensions. I have not a lot of patience for false lashes. It takes me a really long time to get them on. So I'm gonna make myself practice a little bit and if I just, don't feel like I want to put the effort in or the time to do false lashes like when I'm wearing more, you know, glam type 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 makeup, then I might get eyelash extensions. I don't know. I'm undecided. Let me know if you have an opinion. Do you have eyelash extensions? Like what are your thoughts? I've heard mostly good things, but some people have had bad experiences with them, so I'm just unsure. All right, guys, so that is everything that I wanted to share with you for this video, and I think I was pretty successful in turning what was supposed to be a short and sweet video into a long one. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind the length. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you guys like every time let me know. I don't know why I said that so weird. Let me know like if you have any of these products, what your thoughts are on them. Leave your eyelash, your thick band eyelash tips and tricks down below because I need some help. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not subscribed and you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe so you'll be notified of my new videos that come out. And thank you, did I say it? Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.